Hi everyone, it's me, B, and it's personal reading time. So please note that these readings are done for entertainment purposes only. Now today I'm going to do a reading for one of my subscribers called Michelle. And she's thinking about kind of like moving home. And she really wants to know whether this is going to be a good idea. Okay, so the deck that I'm going to use today is my Lucid Tarot by Tarot Mum 13. Okay, so let's put this in the centre and ask these cards for advice. Hi Tarot. So Misha would like advice on moving home. She wants to know if this is going to be a good idea, is it the right thing to do, etc. So I'm asking you to connect with my guides so that we can answer this question for Michelle. Okay, so let's start shuffling these cards. Okay, I think I've shuffled the cards long enough. So, let's place this here. I'm going to split my cards into three piles and repack them. So, I put this one here. Oops. Oh, God, my nails, my grip's not that good today. And this one here. Okay. Let's put my cat over there. Okay, so the spread that I'm going to do for Michelle is called the spread for a new home and it's a six card spread. So let me start laying out the cards. Card one, card two, card three, card four, card five and card six. Okay, so let me try and put these cards so they're visible in the camera okay let's just start this I'm really sorry for the noise folks but as I said as I always say I live next to a train track and I've got my window open just let that train go so I can focus okay so let's start so position one is what would you be bringing in and here you've got the six of wands. So I would say um, good luck, <laughs> energy, um, self-victory for yourself. Just all round kind of good energy, really good karma. And also like a fighting spirit as well. So position two is what was left behind. And you've got the magician. So this could, this could mean a few things. This could mean like a business that you've got. So maybe you'd have to leave your business behind. And it could also be as well, um, just like all the business ideas that you've had, um, where you are now, that would all have to be left behind. Um, kind of ideas that you've got, um, thoughts that you've got on businesses and stuff like that, all that would have to be left behind. So position three is what is the nature of the space itself? So I feel that this space will give you inner confidence and you'll be able to express yourself um, and stuff like that. Um, it, it will just basically give you like self-confidence. And maybe to even maybe start up a new business there because, you know, this is all about businesses and entrepreneur ideas. So I feel that the space will give you that confidence to properly project that. Position four is, how will the new space affect your world? And you've got like the ten of cups. So 
I feel that you might have either loved ones there, families there, or it could even be your ancestral home that you're thinking about moving into. And it, it will give you like inner peace, um, happiness, and just love, to be quite honest. You know, it will bring out your self-confidence. You'll feel at ease. <laughs> and maybe it will be a victory for you. And you'll be able to project your new ideas that you have. Business ideas, I should say. Okay, so position five is how will the new space help you achieve your goals? So you've got here... Um, the Four of Cups. So to me, this card is all about missed opportunities and boredom. So I feel that you're not really emotionally there at your current place. And this move will give you the kind of like the inner confidence to seek business opportunities. Maybe with loved ones as well, to be quite honest. So the final card is, what are you bringing in? Um, and this obviously means bringing into your move, if you was to move. And you've got the Hermit card here. So I would say that you're bringing in a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, maybe, maybe to your family members. Um, your question was, um, will the move be good for you? And on a yes-no answer, the Hermit is a yes card. But what this card is actually advising you is, is to kind of search first before you act. So search for wisdom before you act. You know, um, don't act in haste. Um, be cautious. Um, and if you need to, withdraw from the situation and think things through before you make the actual move. Um, I feel that there may, there may also be a delay if you do, if you do choose to move. And that, this is a good thing because that delay will give you a chance to examine your motives and your inner needs. You know, so basically it's just saying that how, you know, if you wanted to move, it will be a good move. But just exercise patience before you do so. So I do hope that um, I've answered your question. I will put a link for this tarot deck in the description bar should anybody be interested. And also feel free to add to this reading. Thank you so much for watching and you'll see me soon. Bye.